If you had to take a guess, who would you think is the better guitar player? Hey, I'm Nate Savage, and have you ever thought to yourself, man, my life would be so much easier as a guitarist if my hands were just different? Well, the truth is, every type of hand has a trade-off. If you have big hands, it may be really easy to make bar chords, but tough to hit single notes. And if you have small hands, the opposite may be true. And this is a super common question that I get all the time. And sometimes I even think to myself, man, life would be so much easier and I'd be such a good guitar player if I only had hands like Steve Vai. If you feel that you have too small of hands or too big of hands to play the guitar, I think you're going to be encouraged to find out that you're going to have some similar characteristics to some of these guitar players I'm going to share with you as far as hand size goes. Angus Young has created some of the most iconic rock and roll guitar on the face of the planet, and he's only 5 foot 2 inches tall, and he has really small hands. Paul Simon, one of the best singer-songwriters to ever live, is also a really small guy. He's about the same size. Again, small hands. One of my personal favorite guitarists is Phil Kage, and when I saw him a couple years ago, I was pretty shocked to find out that he's a really small guy too, and he does just psychotic things on the guitar with small hands. Now, my last example I have for you is pretty extreme. It's a video of these tiny little kids playing guitar, and if they can do it, I know you can do it, and yes, those are bar chords. So I hope this is encouraging for you, but you may be thinking to yourself, well, Nate, what about those of us that have really big hands with sausage fingers? Well, I'm not going to leave you out either. I saw a guitar player named Red Volkart probably two years ago, one of the best guitar players I've ever seen live, and he has got huge hands, just big sausage fingers, and he tears it up. Another guitar player with really big hands that you should check out is a guy named Johnny Highland. Sausage fingers, and just absolutely tears it up. Another guitar player who has really big hands, who's actually been out to Guitario to do some lessons, is Don Ross. Check out these crazy licks. A legendary guy with bigger hands was Andres Segovia, the kind of the father of modern classical guitar. Another guy that you should check out, and he doesn't even play guitar, he plays ukulele, it's even smaller, is a guy named Iz. His hands are huge and he can play. And kind of the last person I wanted to tell you about is my dad. My dad is a lot bigger than I am, 6'1", really big hands, and he was my first guitar teacher and a great guitar player. You may be thinking to yourself, well, Nate, that's great and it's inspiring, but what can I actually do to help myself get better on the guitar? Well, I have a few tips for you that are going to make dealing with, you know, your hand size issues a lot easier. The first thing is to raise your guitar up a little higher so you can get a better angle of attack on the fretboard and you can do this with a strap standing up, a strap sitting down, or even a footstool to help raise the guitar up. That's going to help a lot. Another thing is to make sure to bring your elbow in close to your body. That's going to enable you to get, again, a better angle of attack on the frets. Also make sure to come down on your fingers right behind the frets and on the very tips of your fingers. The last little physical technique tip is make sure not to kink your wrist too far one way or the other. That can hurt if you go one way for too long and it can be nearly impossible to make clean chords if you go the other way. Another thing that you can do if you're really struggling with bar chords is to use a capo. Don't be afraid to use a capo. It's not cheating. It's just a way to make things easier for yourself. And if you have really big hands, another thing that might help you, let's go back to that A chord for example, instead of trying to squish all your fingers up into that little space, use little bars whenever you can. You can make a regular open major chord, A major chord, with just a single bar with your index finger. And probably the biggest tip I have for you today is to actually put in time with your guitar. If you don't practice, for an extended amount of time, it's gonna be really tough to see any progress. I like to think about this as if I were playing tackle football for the first time. If I went out and expected to be good at tackle football with only putting in a week or two of work on it, I would just get killed on the field. I would be tired and I would be frustrated. Same thing with guitar. It's gonna take you more than a week or two, so be willing to put in the time. All right, the last area that you might wanna consider if you have really small or really big hands is the actual guitar you're using. Different guitars, have different nuts with different widths. And if you have small hands, you might wanna go for something with a smaller nut width, something like a Taylor GS Mini or a Fender Mustang. Those types of guitars will really help you. And uh, brands like Taylor, Yamaha, and Gibson all have smaller nut widths available, like uh, one and three quarters or one and 11 sixteenths is pretty standard there. If you have larger hands, you might want to consider going with something that has a wider nut with maybe a nylon string classical guitar, or as far as brands go, you might want to go with a Larivee, a Seagull, or even a Martin, 
or for electric guitars or PRS, they all make guitars that offer wider nut widths, which can help you out as far as getting your hands on the strings. So no matter what size your hands are, you can play the guitar, barring any kind of extreme situation. And if there's one thing that you take away from this video, it's this. Raise the guitar up a little bit and apply the technique tips that we went over. If you stick with that for a few weeks, you will see better results with your guitar playing. Be sure to let me know if you have any specific challenges or questions when it comes to hand size and guitar. And if you've come across any tips that have really helped you out over the years, leave those below. I'm sure people would love to hear it in the community. Also. Let me know what guitar that you're playing that has helped you out with your particular challenges with hand size. I listed a couple brands, but I'm sure everybody would love to hear what you're playing since there are so many brands out there now. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Here's another one for you to check out. And if you want to get involved in a great community that's there to help you every step of the way, go check out Guitario.com. There's a great forum there, loads of step-by-step -step lessons, lesson plans to get into so you know exactly what to do next and weekly live lessons.